Okay, so we're in the town of Silverton, BC, and uh, there's a sign here that says Silverton Creek Road. This road was the main artery to the many mining claims in the slopes ahead. In 1892, the first claim known as the Vancouver was staked, later named the Van Roy Mine. Success of the Vancouver claim resulted in a rush of prospectors seeking the precious lead and silver ore. The ore was brought down to the mountains on raw hides and go devils. It was then transferred to wagons and sleighs pulled by horses. The loads were pulled to the ore bins on the, ra on the lake to await shipment boats. Tram lines later replaced this method of getting ore to the lake, following as a list of some of the more famous mines and prospectors. Mines, Vancouver, which is known as the Van Roy, Hewitt, Wakefield, Mammoth Mine, Lucky Thought, Fisher Maiden, Standard, and Comstock. And the prospectors were Rufus Evans, Billy Mills, Billy Valentine, Seaman Wetterhouse, Mike Grady, George Fairburn, and Torn Hewitt. So we're going to head up this trail and see what uh, we can find today. Okay, so we followed the Wakefield Trail. Uh, we came up Silverton Creek and then took the Wakefield Trail up as far as you're allowed on motorized vehicles. And right at the end of the trail, there's a path leading up, and uh, it runs into these old mine buildings. So we're going to walk over here and have a look. You can see the collapsed collapsed buildings. There's a large ore, sh uh, ore bin on the other side. So I'm going to work my way around this and get to the other side of this building and we'll have a look what's over there. Okay, so we walked around the other side down this little trail and uh, this building is collapsed. It's hard to tell what it was. It looks like it might have been the workshop. And uh, in the distance you can see all the rubble and uh, there's the very top of the ore bin. I'll hike down and show you the bottom later. We think this is the Wakefield mine, but we're not 100% sure. And I'll give you a quick look inside the building here. Hey, don't take my picture. You're not in the film. Not in the film. Don't worry. Okay. I wouldn't do that to the viewers. Good. Anyways, that's inside that building. That looks like it might... What was that, Wayne? Is that the living quarters, or is it... Well, I see there's a bed here. Yeah, so it must have been. Oh yeah, there's a bed in the corner there, so it must have been the living quarters. So we're going to walk around and see what other uh, stuff we can find here at the Wakefield mine. Okay, so we walked a little further along here on the other side of the ore bin. Give you a better look at the ore bin. See the ore cart tracks coming out and uh, going around the corner. And uh, I do have word that around the corner there is a portal and it is open. Almost went down the hill. So we're going to uh, make our way over here across the rubble and uh, check it out. So we carefully made our way across this uh, rubble pile, which actually used to be a, it looks like a wooden kind of trestle. The uh, ore cart tracks come out of the portal. There's the portal. And uh, they come around the corner. And you can see them going out and they would have gone right out onto the ore bin and uh, dumped the ore in. So uh, let's, we'll crawl inside and uh, the other guys have already gone in and we'll check out the Wakefield mine. Okay, so just inside the portal, got uh, ore cart tracks and a, kind of a little bulkhead with some support timbers on top of it. And then turning around, there's the portal we climbed through. There was a light fixture up there, or there is a light fixture, there's a light there at one time with a switch on the wall there it looks like. And uh, we're going to continue this way and uh, see what's inside the Wakefield one. This was uh, one of the ones listed on the on the sign in the start of the trail that I well, posted in the beginning. So we'll uh, make our way down the main haulage tunnel and see what awaits see what awaits us. Okay, so we've come a little further in. Probably a hundred feet or so, and 
panning around, you can see the piping on the wall continues further in, and the tunnel makes a slight bend to the left here, and the uh, tracks continue. We'll continue deep into the Wakefield mine. Water's kind of there's some water, then it's dry, then there's some water, then it's dry. A little bit of low spots here and there. Our water's pooling. Not too bad though. And the uh, tunnel continues straight ahead. Looks like there's a small kind of alcove off to the left here, off to the right of me. It's just a little dugout area. And uh, the main tunnel continues that way, so we're gonna. Keep going down the main haulage tunnel at the Wakefield line. Okay, that's looking back to where we came from. Um, it's pretty much been a straight shot other than those two curves to the right. And uh, panning around, we have uh, another long straight stretch. So this was obviously just a haulage tunnel. There must be a scope or something above us. Or We'll see. Uh, we're going to keep making our way down the main tunnel here. All these mines in this area were silver. Um, the sign at the beginning was saying it's the Galena Trail. And uh, yeah, so this is the Wakefield mine, one of the major, one of the eight or nine major mines in the area. So we're gonna keep making our way down the main tunnel and see what's at the end. Okay, that was the way we came from. You can see there's a uh, larger tubing here now, probably for ventilation that we've picked up further in the mine. And uh, on our right here we have a storage area for uh, metallic, looks like the air or water lines. It's too small to be ventilation, I think it's the smaller top line. Probably compressed air or water. And uh, yeah, this is where they would have stored the extra pipes that they would use to uh, go deeper in the mine with. So we're going to keep making our way down the haulage tunnel. and. Uh, See what lies ahead. I can see the guys ahead of us about 200 feet, so it keeps going. So we'll uh, keep following it, see what we can find. Okay, that's the way we came from, and uh, swinging around here, we've come across uh, some ore cart, ore carts that were uh, parked about 1,000 feet in, and uh, we're going to walk around and have a look at them. They were actually used for hauling. Or if somebody's just put these in here, I don't know, it's hard to say. It looks like it was like uh, work, yeah, track pieces and stuff, and it looks like brake shoes or something for the locomotives. This one's been tipped over. Pipe fittings, and we'll walk around the side of it now. see a little bit better how it would have dumped. Dumping mechanism, you could see it would have walked in in the front here. And uh, when you pull that lever, it releases and dumps the ore out the back. Very neat find, and there's an old drill rod leaning against the wall. So we're going to uh, turn and continue and make our way down the tunnel. Okay, we just came from that way, and we're uh, Probably 1,500 feet in now, I'm guessing, and we have another uh, storage area on the right for uh, air and water pipe and uh, a couple pieces of ore cart track that looks like they were uh, for a curve because they've got a bend in them. And the tunnel continues that way, and I can see the guys still making their way in further ahead. It looks like it might make a bend to the left up ahead. Some minor collapses along the, along the side here. So, uh, yeah. Let's make our way a little further into the Wakefield mine. Okay, so we were coming from that way and uh, panning around. We have a, a ladder on the left hand side, and it looks like it goes up into a little soaked area. Yep. They stoked out a little cavity up here. You can see the stalls 
right at the entrance. And uh, yeah, they took out a little body of ore. Silver, rich with silver at one time. And the main tunnel continues down this way and zigzags a little bit and then looks like it makes a left hand turn. So we're gonna go check that out. Okay, the main tunnel continues that way, but I stopped here just to show you uh, there's a junction for the ore carts here. There would have been a switch here at one time that uh, moved those tracks in and out, but it looks like it's long gone. But uh, yeah, there's ore cart tracks off to the right here that would have let the uh, ore cart tracks coming from that way pass by. And uh, Or it was just a pull off if they needed to fix them or something. It looks like there's some parts on the ground or something here that... So yeah, we're going to keep making our way down the tunnel and I can see the guys up ahead. They've stopped, so it looks like we might be close to the end. We're probably, I would say close to 2,000 feet in now. I to say maybe 1,500 or something, but I haven't been counting. And uh, yeah, we're going to go check out where they are. Okay, so we've reached a major junction here. There's a tunnel off to the left that I uh, was told is a couple of ore chutes. And we believe this tunnel that continues straight ahead ends in a collapse. We're going to uh, make our way through the pile here and have a look. Yeah, there's a some hoses and a little storage area. And it looks like they probably were stoping up. Yeah, there's a bit of a cavity here. Or it's just collapsed down. And uh, continuing straight ahead is uh, not passable. So we'll go back and look what's down that branching tunnel to the left. So I'm making my way over all this rubble down this left-hand branching tunnel that uh, supposedly stands in ore chutes. We're going to try to make our way down here and have a look. It's a heavily, heavily timbered section. Very unstable rock in this area, I suppose. I'm going to make my way over this rubble pile and then I'll pick you up on the other side. Okay, alright, so I made my way past all that rubble and yeah, there's the one overshoot there coming down. Um, there's a lot of collapse in this area, so I'm not going to stay here for too long. I'm not going to make my way past because everything's, there's a giant pillar in the middle of this room that's holding the ceiling up. I'll show you up above here. There's a ladder up above in the ceiling where they would have, uh, I guess, stood up there to get this cavity out. And then there's another ore chute here to my left with a very, very rotten ladder that uh, goes way up into the upper workings. But uh, it is not passable anymore. As you can see, the ladders are very, very rotten. So we're going to make our way out of this very unstable area of the mine and back to the main tunnel and out. So uh, yeah, that's the end of uh, of this one. We'll see see you at the next one.